My name is Ante, Ante Salcedo. Um, I am going to uh, lecture the second half of the course with Professor Kuhlman. Um, let me introduce or talk a little bit about myself and uh, probably let you know how I ended up uh, lecturing this course. I am electrical engineer. Uh, that's my background. I started as electrical engineer. I studied that in Mexico. Um, the, and I used to do electronic, electronic devices uh, for uh, remote, uh, for measuring, uh, I don't know, electronic devices. And I came after, after my, my bachelor's, I came to the USA to do the master's and PhD. And um, not really knowing what I was doing, I, I ended up doing very scientific engineering, uh, physics. I did electro, electrodynamics, electromagnetics for remote sensing and also plasma, uh, laser plasma interactions. And uh, it was a long time. I did that for really lo lots of years. And after that, uh, after I finished the PhD, I said, I don't want to do this anymore. And looking for an exit to that, I ended up being hired by a, by a business consulting firm, which is McKinsey and Company. And um, in, within that company, within that firm, I ended up doing lots of uh, uh, business strategy, uh, analysis for mar different kinds of markets, oil, um, um, uh, consumer goods, insurance, nothing to do with engineering. I did that for some time. I really enjoyed it. But uh, the engineering part is also something that I love. And trying to find a combination of both things, I came to ITAM. I, I came to Professor Kuhlman and asked him for, for an opportunity to work with him. And uh, I started uh, lecturing and teaching uh, in this school a combination, trying to find a combination of engineering with management strategy, market analysis. The first thing I did as, a, as, a, as a, uh, when I came back to academy is try to figure out what to do. I was not a student anymore. I didn't have an advisor. I didn't have a, a company hiring me. I had to decide what to do. So I started looking for something to research or something to do, and I started to do analysis of the industry as a way to find my way into it, as a way to decide what should I research, where are opportunities to do something, and I started analyzing this industry, and, that, and, and I've, that's what I do now. I, I, I do analysis of the industry, and I help people to find what to do. For the telecom industry, mainly. If, I, if somebody approaches to me with other kind of things, I help them, or I try to help them. But in the industry, somebody with my students, for instance, are, are looking for research topics. I help them find research topics. Companies are, or, or uh, sometimes government or sometimes uh, people approach to me or approach to ITAM asking what to do or where where should we work things out? And I help them to try to figure that. I, um, I think this program, the ITP program, is really interesting. It really is in the focus of things. The, the telecommunications uh, industry, and now I should say the telecommunication and information technologies industry, is a really very interesting industry. It's growing. It's healthy. It has lots of potential to the future. It has lots of opportunities. It's an, it's an industry that is changing very fast. It's very dynamic. And what, what we're seeing is that the, the, the uh, convergence of technologies are changing the industry. So in the, in the near past, we used to see independent industries or independent markets with single or few services like TV, like telephone, like video games, like computers. They were focused to one single service or to very specific uh, technologies. Now everything is blending. To, so look, to look at specific tele, television industry makes no sense anymore because television is blending with telephony, with video games, with banking, with many other industries. And this blending is not a technological thing only. 
it's based on technology. Technology supports and leads the, 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 the combination of the, of the blending of these industries. But the whole blending is, a, is more a business, a regulatory, a management, an economic thing. And it poses dynamics that are very interesting and very difficult to understand and very rich. They are not like the usual dynamics that engineers study where you can measure and you can go to your computer and make a model and predict what's happening. Here you cannot measure. It, there are an enormous amount of variables, an enormous amount of things that need to be considered and then they are all changing very fast. So it is very interesting. And these dynamics, these blending dynamics, are not only interesting, they are important because companies have to make decisions to the future. They have to decide where to invest, what products to offer, what technologies to, to pursue in the future. And whatever decisions they make today will change their positioning in the future. We see huge companies that suddenly disappear. We see companies that are blending together, or that are merging. We see companies that were in one market and, that, and now are exploring lines of business in different markets. Companies find risks and find opportunities. And also people like us. We find opportunities to do investments, small investments. We find opportunities to create companies. We have, we have opportunities to do research. What research do you want to be in? What professor are you going to choose to be your advisor because he is doing something that will probably put you into something interesting in five years or in ten years? To make your decisions, one of the most important things is to try to understand and try to predict what's going to happen. And in order to do that, you have to look at the dynamics and try to make a little bit of sense out of them. They are not easy. We, we cannot predict. We cannot understand. We cannot have fine detailed models. But what we're going to do in this course and what I will, uh, the idea of the course is to try to make a big picture of things. A big picture that is complete in the sense that it's not only technology. It covers basics of technology, but it also goes over basics of economics, of regulation, and of uh, management and strategy making. And this big picture, from this big picture, we want to also develop tools to try to figure out opportunities, to find where are needs, where are opportunities, and where are risks. So you can take action and define strategies ahead of time, so in the future you can uh, be either protected <laughs> or so you can capture opportunities.